parents, women, and mom. Food has always been a positive um, in my life. Food is always comfort. Um, food made you think of home, made you think of mom, and you know, made you feel safe. The only negative aspects I have about food are weight gain and basically dealing with things like sugar levels and carbs. Food translates to love for me. I'm pretty much a traditional kind of person when it comes to I, I still will only cook the rice my mom used to cook and use the pots that my mom used to use. When, when I moved to Cape Town, um, my mom um, obviously didn't want to give me any, and, and in, in our family, traditionally, you don't leave the house until you get married. I moved because I wanted to change, so she wasn't very happy about it. So part of my trousseau were a few of her pots. They were missing, um, the, the, the tops of the, of the handles were broken, they were missing, um, of the lid handles were broken, the handles were m broken, missing completely, um, but I grew up with these pots. And they weren't many, they were two or three, three pots, but they were what I knew. So it helped start my home. And then when I could afford it, I bought a whole set of the same range. But to this day, I married 17 years. To this day, I will still go first for my mom's pot. Sands, handles and all. Lamb and chicken are the staples um, of the curries. And of course, a lamb biryani. Now that is something that is, comes down from my mom and we've got recipe books galore but nothing beats learning at your mom's shoulder. I say shoulder because my mom's this big. <laughs> but my mom um, moved to Cape Town last year, October, but whenever she comes to visit or we go there, it is a feast. <laughs> So, yeah, we absolutely love it. She comes over to us, I make sure that I have all the ingredients for lamb biryani to make enough to last me an entire week. And Terence loves, loves chicken curry. My chicken curry. Loves it. Uh, eat it three times a day, seven days a week. I shop because I cook um, and I know what they like to eat. So The Cape Town stores stock mostly for... Uh, Cape Townian style food. There's a big difference between Durban style food and, and Cape Townian style food. Culture shock with regards to the food um, was massive for me. If anything, I think that was the biggest thing. Even something as simple as a curry tastes very different from, you know, in Cape Town compared to somebody from Durban. We do a lot of Indian food. Um, the, the thing though is that Terence and I love curry, but my son won't touch it. So almost every day, and he doesn't eat stews and breedies and things like that, so every day I'm having to make two meals. My community here in Cape Town is, is not a, um, for lack of a better phrase, in need community, if that makes any sense. When we started our business, I was actually on maternity leave. My son was just born and my husband opened up his own business. And as a result of that, we didn't have much income. And we struggled for a long time for, you know, to because the business was still coming up and stuff like that. But it wasn't a, it was as a result of the choices we'd made. I've become more aware of how much we consume and more importantly, how much we waste. And I'm not a fan of waste. So um, nutrition and things is quite important, especially for the more serious athletes. Um, and we start off with the kids where Terence and uh, will always like tell the kids, um, um, breathe in water, breathe out the Coke, uh, breathe in fruit and veg, breathe out, breathe, breathe out the McDonald's. So kind of getting them to, you know, eat healthily and stuff like that. 
And for our more senior athletes and the more um, serious ones that c compete on a more professional level, you know, um, when we're coaching, we ask for food diaries and we try to help them adjust with the help of a, a, a dietitian, especially for some of our competitors that compete on the, um, on the national level in terms of um, the national governing body for karate, their weight um, categories that they need to compete in. Yeah, food plays a big part in, in what, what we do here.